The IAEA's 67th annual conference took place in Vienna this week. Great to see old friends and make new ones. Exchanging internationally. Networking. Cooperation. Engage with the people who are in nuclear field. I represent my country. Getting international expertise. Our first nuclear power plant. Small modular reactors. Fantastic. Hope for the future. Thousands of delegates from member states and partner organizations gathered for the event to decide on key issues in nuclear science and technology. Topics focused on peace, energy and climate change, nuclear safety and security, food, water and international development. The IAEA is an indispensable partner in our collective efforts to secure a better future for all, from fighting diseases and improving food, water and energy security, to mitigating and adapting to climate change and preventing the next pandemic. This year, the IAEA's Director General, Rafael Mariano Grossi, was re-elected to a second four-year term. My sense of duty, my sense of responsibility, moral, ethical and professional, is even stronger than four years ago. To lead this agency, an agency that does not wait to be called to help when help is needed. Thank you for your trust and confidence. Every day I will strive to honor it. The Scientific Forum, the two-day flagship side event of the General Conference, this year examined nuclear power innovations to help reach net zero. Let's make real that great dream that President Eisenhower shared 70 years ago, harnessing the awesome power of the atom for a new era of peace and prosperity in this, what is potentially the greatest peace project of our time, a net zero world. Speakers ranged from senior ministers to youth advocates. One of the most bizarre things I've witnessed in my journey as a nuclear advocate has been how many leaders secretly behind closed doors will say, you know, I support, I support it, but I would never say publicly because I'm afraid of the backlash. So if that's the case, I'm here to tell you, this is not the 1970s anymore. Young people are very much open to it. And they're waiting to hear from people like yourselves that it's okay to support this technology. Another key event celebrated 70 years since the Atoms for Peace speech was given by US President Dwight D. Eisenhower to the United Nations about the steps needed to ensure peace in the new atomic age. This powerful speech, followed by the strong commitment and cooperation of the world's powers, led to the forming of the IAEA in 1957 and the international system of safeguarding nuclear materials. Hundreds of other side events kept participants busy, including tours of IAEA labs, hands-on demonstrations, and progress made on key IAEA initiatives, such as Rays of Hope, Cancer Care for All. <laughs>